welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And uh, yeah, some, some shenanigans over the last couple of days with one Wordle being delayed. I put up a, uh, a sort of quick solve of a quick cryptic crossword video instead with also the New York Times connections. And uh, I don't want to distract people from looking at Simon's brilliant Toolcat solve, on, which was posted as an extra yesterday as well. Um, anyway, we're always posting stuff. Two videos a day seems to be an absolute minimum. I'm sure we'll be streaming again at some point next week, but for now, I'm going to be looking at another classic James Cott puzzle, mixing a couple of our puzzle rule types, and we'll see what James has done with German whispers, region sum lines, thermo and x's in a moment uh now i mean as there is always loads of stuff on patreon there is another actually super long solved by simon on there at the moment do join us on patreon have a look at that coming on the first of february something very new i think it's a nine puzzle um selection uh we're looking forward to bringing that to you by a guest constructor single one this time really looking forward to that um, we'll trail more as we get closer. We've also got um, we've got all, all of our apps, which include Thermo Sudoku and Line Sudoku and Domino Sudoku. So they're very relevant to today's puzzle. Um, and we've got Sven Sudoku Pattern on merch. So check it all out on the links under the video. But the first link is to this puzzle called Intersections. Um, and the rules are as follows. Normal Sudoku rules apply. So one to nine will go in every row, column, and three by three box. Um, on a thermometer, digits increase from the bulb end. The blue line is an equal sum line. So all digits along the line must sum to the same number in each three by three box. The line visits. Now, each visit to a box counts separately, normally and I can actually see that that is going to apply here. So that digit will be the same as those two added together. Um, along the green line, very different line, German whispers line, adjacent digits must have a difference of at least five. Um, mentioning Germany reminds me that this weekend is the Sudoku Grand Prix first round. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm going to. Cells separated by an X sum to 10. Not all Xs are given. There we go, that's the rules. Give it a try. James is great standard every time. I am going to try now. You can look at my video time to guess how difficult I found it. Let's get cracking. So, well, all these thermos are the same length. <laughs> no, okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is pick out these region sum lines. So in boxes two, four, six, and eight, there's just one cell on the region sum line. So that must be the same number each time. And where does that go in the central box? Look at the positions of those yellow cells. They rule out all of these cells, so that number in the central box is in the middle. Um, and it's in the Fistemafel boxes. I don't think that's relevant, but it is in those areas in every quadrant in the corner of the grid. Now, what I was thinking of doing, and I'm now going to do it, is good lifting the thermos, putting all the candidates in, because sometimes it just yields some something you're not expecting. A triple, a quadruple, maybe even a quintuple. And you see here, they're on the corners, these middly digits, three, four, five, six, or seven. Corners of the Fistemafel ring, anyway. I don't know, it's interesting without being conclusive, I would say. Now, okay, these are interesting. Intersections, the puzzle's called. So I'm looking at the intersections of the green and the blue lines. Here, on these two cells, we've got one high and one low. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean that on a green German whisper line, you can't have a five, or high and low digits alternate according to their polarity because to maintain the difference you need one digit under five then one digit over five etc etc so let me just color the alternate cells along this line now i want to end up making them orange for high and blue for low 
at the moment I don't know which they go. So I'm, call I'm calling them, I'm coloring them green and purple. Now what I was saying is that one of these is low and one is high. And the same here, one of these is low and one is high. But when you add these two together, which now perforce include a high and low pair, you get to this number. So whichever is low is at least six, whichever, sorry, whichever is low is at least one, whichever is high is at least six. And in one case, one must be a bit higher than six and one must be a bit higher than one because there's two there. So the absolute minimum for these digits is six, seven, one, and two. If we add all of those up, we get to 16 and we divide by two. And that means the minimum digit for the yellow cell is eight. And what does that mean? Don't know. Can these be six and seven? If that was a six, those would both be ones. If that was a seven, these would both be twos. Then you'd be adding two and six, one and seven, and you'd be getting the right total. Hmm. Okay, that is very plausible. And it's making me conscious that to make pur these purple and greens add up to the same total outside the grid, they're going to have to have the same difference between the greens as there is between the purples. Could we do it with two and three in one set and seven and eight in the other? No, they'd be adding up to ten. It is interesting. There is something going on there. The, there are limitations on, on how small things can be. Oh, I'm okay. Now I'm thinking that these bulbs are small and these tips are large. And that seems to me to make it very unlikely that purple is large. If purple was large, this would be a a set of five, six, seven, eight, nine. This would be a set of one, two, three, four. It's very forcing if this happens. I, it seems to be very unlikely to me that purple is high, but I can't give it an actual proof at the moment. That can't be a five, just because it's on an X. In fact, it is therefore a high digit. And this one, oops, so I've labelled it with the wrong colour. And this one is low. This is, well, this doesn't have to be high. This could be a four. Not so clear cut. Okay, let's think a bit harder about if green was low. No, if purple was high, that's the important thing because we include the middle cell then. We have five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's what makes these into one, two, three, four. Now, one of them is a four. Ah, oh, no, that doesn't mean that this must begin with a five. One, two, three, four there. What's the problem with that? I am not sure. Maybe there isn't a problem with it. Oh, I've just realized this can't be an eight because eight, nine there would make that impossible. Same is true up here. So once that can't be an eight, we shuffle that back down the bigger digits on the, on the thermo. That can't be an 8, so that's not 7, that's not 6, that's not 5. That can't be an 8 as well, for the same reason we'd have 8, 9 in the box breaking that cell. 6, 5, same here. 8 comes out, 7 comes out, 6 comes out, 5 comes out. Now, this also can't be a 5, it's on an X. Um, now we've got these down to one, two, three, four. Now that's very interesting. So if green was low, that would now be a one, two, three, four quad. Now 
And in this situation, in which green is low, purple is high, and now all of these digits are a high quintuple of five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, it's enormous pressure everywhere. You see, I can see something else that would do. That would make this a four, three, two, one. I mean, this is looking forward quite a long way, but then you'd have two and one there. Greens would be low. And I, uh, that one would be a three. Ah, okay, that's not possible. Now, I can see that that's not possible, but it's a very complicated proof. That's not possible. By, okay, just, I'm just going to go through the proof I've seen, and then we'll try and find something that's more straightforward. Um, because I don't like people saying that my look-aheads count as bifurcation, even if I don't think they do. Um, <laughs> and they do sometimes say that. And I shouldn't probably worry, but hey, I'm human. So, if that was five, six, seven, eight, nine. These would be one, two, three, four. These would also be one, two, three, four. And we would definitely have digits from five, six, seven, eight, nine there. Purple would be high, that's high, that's from five, six, seven, eight, nine. So all of those would be five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that would make this one a four. Now that would force this to be three, two, two and one here. And that would give me a problem with greens being low. I'm allowed to put a four here, but if I put a three in this cell, these two that it touches have to be eight and nine. And whichever digit yellow is, will have to see another one in the same row, either there or there. So that would break. Now, that is complicated, and I'm not sure we're gonna have to use that. I might try and use the fact that I've just worked out that this can't be a three. It can't be a four either, because they would both have to be nine on the line. That's, that's more simple to see. If this was a one or a two though, maybe we can turn it round the other way. If that's a one or a two, then that's at least a three. Then we're getting to at least four there. Then we're getting to at least five in this cell. And these two are from the highest five digits. And if we're speculating that green is low, which is what I am speculating, then we do end up, I mean, it's the same proof slightly the other way around, but this time it's fairly easy to see that all those six digits would have to be from the high set of five digits. I don't know, maybe that's exactly the same proof, but I'm using it. I think it's very neat. I don't, I'm not suggesting that's not on the intended solution path. I think it prob quite possibly is. Anyway, it does prove that rather as expected, green is not low because it won't work. Green is high, so we'll make it orange. Purple is low, so we'll make it blue. We've got blue cells there already for definite um, and in those bulbs. Now, can we actually use this in any way? Because that's much more doubtful. These, yeah, these are six, seven, or eight. They can't be higher because they're gonna to add to blue to make the yellow cell. So the blue is therefore one, two, or three. It can't be a four. So, we have to find room for four and five in these corner cells somewhere. This digit is also one, two, or three, and this one. They can't be four because they would have, well, they would have a nine here, for instance, but they would also have nines on both cells. So, We're getting quite a bit of one, two, three-age in the grid. Hmm, not sure.
sure. There's still going to be a 4 in one of these pairs. Wherever it occurs, it's going to make this cell into a 5, 6 or 7 and therefore this cell into at least 6. Oh, just by X counting, that is 3, 4 or 6. That's not, again, that interesting, unless I meant to know about that being one high and one low. That's sort of interesting. Where do these two digits go in this box? They're going to have to go in these cells. Now, they could both go on the first two cells of that, that thermo. Alternatively, one of them's a 3 and they go in there. Now, if one of these is a 3, then we know that yellow is 9 and one of these is a 6. And the 6 on the green line is going to force the other of these to be a 1. So either this is a 1-2 pair or one of them's a 3 and then it's a 3-1 pair. So there's always a 1 in that. Pairing. Does that mean there's always a 6 on the line? I don't think it does. To avoid having a 6 on, on the green line, we could have a 7 and 8 in these cells. Then this would be a 1-2 pair. And we'd have 9 in yellow. One, two, nine across the middle. These would have to end in five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I don't know. These, by the way, are seven, eight, or nine. They can't be sixes because they can't have two ones touching in the same column. Oh, it's so close to something coming out of this. Ah, there is a one in one of those cells, so where's one in this box? It's got to be there. There's nowhere else for it to be. That's strange. And the one in row six is there. Now, if there was a two in one of these cells, again, you'd be able to place the twos in those boxes which would be very, I don't know, it does, it does allow everything else to breathe a bit, but it's quite constraining on those individual twos. I mean, yeah, I'm again tempted to ask the question if there was a three here, because that's much more forcing. If there was a 3 in one of these cells, say it was there, then it needs a 6. Uh, no, it would need a 6 here. That would force a 1 here. So, very much again, either... Yeah, there, there is something about, just about this collocation here. Um, if that's a 6, it forces one of these to be a 1. If it's a 7, it that would be 1 or 2, and that would be 1 or 2. Yeah, if, yeah, that's really interesting. If it's a 6, one of these is a 1. Well, I mean, if it's a, sorry, if it's a 6 on the green line, that's a 1. If it's a 7, that has to be 1 or 2 to make the blue sum, and that has to be 1 or 2 because of the green line rule. So that would be a 1-2 pair. If it's an 8, we definitely need a 1 here on the blue line. So one of these two is always a 1 as well, and the same is true here. That's just a symmetrical counterpart. I don't know what that means. It means that one of these has to be a one. And that, yeah, that's really not very interesting for the puzzle. Oh, bother. 
oh, I'm not getting this at all. I'm, I'm some way away from understanding quite how we're meant to use that. Maybe we look at this row. Where do all the low digits go? We're still going to need one high digit in the corners of this box. A 6, 7, 8 or 9 as well as a 5 and a 4 and either a 2 or a 3. So, yeah, no, that's a good point. We're going to need another two or a three. If it goes here, that's a triple. If it goes on this side, then there's a triple there. So in one of these cases, this digit is at least four. In at least one case, this digit is at least four. This digit's at least five. This one's at least six. And this one's at least seven. Just, it's just not enough to fill anything in. Ah, it's all about these intersections. That's why the puzzle title is what it is, of course. But I can't quite see what it is about these intersections. Does this have to be a one-two pair? As I rather suspect it will be. Are we allowed six in one of these cells? Because that's going to force the two ones to accompany it in the green. And if it's an eight, it's going to force a one to accompany it in the blue. Oh, on both, I don't know, no, on both, I was going to say, how can either of these be a three on the green line? Well, that's fine, with an eight. And then the other digits will be a one to make the sum up to nine, and a six. So if there is an eight on this in this pair, then there's a six with them. To keep the, to keep the yellow digits balanced. Is that really right? Or did I start from a different place? No, I, no, I, it's not right. I was thinking I'd just proved there was a six in these, but if these were eight and seven, those would be one and two. The whisper rule would be obeyed. The region sum line rule would be obeyed, and this would be a nine. Maybe I can just prove this is a 9. OK, if yellow is an 8, then this is a 6-7 pair and this is a 1-2 pair. Everything else on the whisper is also 1-2. We'd get all sorts of 1-2 pairs in the puzzle. We'd get a pair of 2s here, for instance. So this is if yellow is 8. It, all, all sorts of 1-2s. Ones, are forced in the grid. If yellow is eight. And what does that do? May I ask myself? I don't know. I don't know if there's a problem with yellow being eight. I suspect there is. I suspect it's really difficult to finish this. If yellow is eight, this is six, seven, eight, triple. One of these cells is a nine and will force its thermo tip to not be a nine. And then say it was there, forcing that thermo tip to not be a nine. I don't know. This is if yellow is an eight, which I think is unlikely. 
Oh, but I can't quite prove it. If yellow is eight, that is a six, seven pair. Maybe it's more interesting to say that this is a seven, eight pair. And there's no six here. What happens then? There's no six here. This is a seven, eight pair. These are one, two. Yellow is nine. We've also got a seven, eight, nine triple in each of those positions. And therefore, we've got sevens on whispers, either there and there, or there, well, no, either there and there, or there and there. And then we always have to have one, two in blue. So if there's no six here, yeah, we've said that, I think, that the blues are always one twos. Ah, oh, I don't know, I don't see why not. Okay, let's look at this row with this. This X is actually significant, I think. Five in the row, it could just be here. Five there, six, seven, with an eight, nine pair surrounding it. Otherwise, fives in one of those cells. But it can be, it can be. I don't see why it can't be. I haven't really got, got a pressure point to stop five being in one of those cells. And this is the trouble. Okay, if yellow's nine, then neither of these can be a nine. So these are kind of shrinking from the get-go. Those are seven at max, those are six, those are five, these are four. I've already got them down to that. Don't know, okay, that wasn't a problem. I don't know. This X down here, these just don't look like they're doing anything, these perimeter Xs. They kind of look like things that'll disambiguate us a bit later. I still feel the central row and column. Maybe I should do set theory. on the central row and column. I mean, it's interesting, but I don't quite see what it's gonna prove. And we can't really eliminate much against each other if we did that. My goodness, James, you've really foxed me here. I can't see what's going on. Okay, if that was a seven three pair. Ah, oh, there is a six or seven in this X pair. So there is a six, seven, eight, nine quad. So these are definitely from two, three, four, or five. So there's another high digit from six, seven, eight, nine, which needs another one in one of these. And that forms a virtual six, seven, eight, nine quad across those five cells. And this can't be six or seven anymore. This is also low, two, three, four, or five, by that same reasoning. But now this can't be six or five, this can't be five or four, and this can't be four or three. And now we've got a one, two, three triple in this box. And I haven't seen that before. I hope there's a one, two, three triple as well, making this one four or five. And if that's four or five, then everything else in the column is definitely high. Hmm, one, two, three, triple here. So the, 
that digit has to be the same as that one because that triple is the same set of digits as that triple and they've got those in common. So this is now one or two, not a three. If there is a three on the blue lines in the middle box, it must be there and that's six and these are one. <clears throat> this has come down to four or five. That was interesting. Right. I was then going to speculate on if six, if this was seven, three, that would be a six, which would make both of these cells ones and that one. We'd get a lot of ones around the grid. Because that would become a 1, yeah, so if 6 wasn't used there, 6 would be here. That makes this a 1. Now this can't be a 1, at which point this can't be a 4. So, oh, it couldn't be a 4 anyway once that was a 6, could it? So, in fact, if that's a 6, this is a 7. And that breaks, that breaks. Look at this group of cells. This can't be a seven, because then seven, eight, nine are done and you can't fill that cell. Right, this is a four, six pair. That is not a six. I wish I could say that meant this is a six. All I've got is this seven, eight, nine triple though. But that's a four, six pair. So that's not four and that's not six. Can this be five still? I bet there's a reason it can't. There is. There's a beautiful reason it can't. If that was five, this is four, three, two, one. And three, two, one would all see that cell. One in the row and two in the box. And that would become impossible. So that is not a five. That is a high digit. Now, why did I want to learn that a moment ago? Because I really did. I desperately wanted that not to be a five. I don't know. Anyway, I've got a four, six pair. This has become a five. There's my third digit in the grid after half an hour. This is not five or four. This is two or three. I've got a one, two, three triple. One of these two is a four. And that's putting a five over here on this thermo. And not here on this one. And not here on this one. I've got a one, two, three triple there. So that is not two or three. So this thermo, ah, now this thermo comes into light. Five and six are necessary there. Four there, actually four here, not four on the bulb. Right, we've got a one, two, three, triple there. This is not four, so that's not five. That's now a high digit. I'm sort of not really marking them anymore. I've got this seven, eight, nine triple. Maybe that's what I was looking for. So these are from two, three, five. Now I've got a one, two, three, five quad. So one of those is a five and that isn't. Um, that's not a five either, I've just noticed. And it's not a four either because we've said fours in one of those cells. There's a two, three pair. Now I've got this one, two, three, five quad going on here. So four and six are in these two cells in the row, and that's not a four, which was fairly obvious from this four. Oh, okay, I don't know if that helps. Right, come on, come on, keep going now. Three has come out of there. If, wow. That is part of a one, two, three, triple, and so is that. If you eliminate the common digits, that means that is the same as that. This is one or two outside the central box here. That's not a four. So this isn't a six. I haven't quite got either a seven, eight, nine triple or a six, seven, eight, nine quad going. Oh, that can't be five going in this column. But I have got one, two, three, five. 
got one, two, three up here. My goodness, one of these is a one, needing sixes. That can't be a six, so on this green line, no, it doesn't need two sixes, sorry, that's not the point. I still don't even know what yellow is, even after all this work and actually getting a bit of a breakthrough latterly. One, two, three, five. So these are from four, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to finally fill in all of those silly candidates. Those are almost a set. Not quite. Four is due to go somewhere. Ah, four in the central column, yes, puts four into one of those two cells. So this is high and it can't be five. And now I've got my six, seven, eight, nine quad in column four. I'm not quite where I was expecting it. I thought it would come through this cell, but that's become a four. In fact, that's been very obvious since I got that four. I just hadn't noticed it. Now. If this was a seven, that would be a six. And what have we got up here? We've got a higher digit, although that higher digit could be a five. In fact, maybe it has to be. If the higher, no, there could still be the five in the column could be there. It's not quite the case. Right, five can't be here on this X. So five in row eight is in one of those cells. No, that's not true because it could, yes it is. Five in box seven, that's how I should be phrasing that, is in one of those cells. Therefore it's not there and it is here in box eight and therefore that's not a five and that's not a six this is definitely high now and does that quad and this quad they share a digit there they share a digit there so these two are these two Hmm. Six or seven, eight or nine. Uh, there's something, something more is, is crackling away here. That's two or three. and is in one of these cells in row five. So that is different from that two or three. Yeah, okay, so it's also different from that one. These two are the same. Now, if they were threes, does that do anything on the thermos? Not really, no doesn't oh look it's the same deal up here just as I said that one couldn't be three two one or it would break that this can't be three two one or it breaks that cell oh, I hate missing the same thing a second time fool me once um, what's the phrase Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Something like that. Right. Um, now, this can't be four anymore because of this having got restricted. So, where's four in the row? Is it on that X? Where's, oh, where's four in the column? It's in one of those two cells. 
if that's a 4 on the X, then that becomes 3, and that becomes 2. If 4's on the X, then that has to be 4. 4 is getting very constrained around the grid if that's happening. In fact, I've just placed 4 in box 4 there. Hadn't seen that before. Uh, those two digits are those two digits because of this 4 and the central row 4. And therefore, since we know those two are the same, those two are definitely exactly the same. Let's make them bright blue. And that digit must be here in row 6. So it's not 9s in those two positions. Yeah, that's weird. That's just from eliminating quads against other quads. So, let's try it again. There was a quad here and a quad here, where those two digits were the same as those two. But still, that could be the lower one. Seven there, eight there. So I don't know which way around those go up here. Unless I've just missed something on the thermo. There's every chance of that at this point. One, two, three, four. This is a five. I've just worked out. It's the last digit needed in the in the box. One of these is low and one is high. Ah, this bottom row. This ought to be doing something now. Um, mm, if that's not four six, then we use up the last digit from one, two, three on it. And these all come from four, six, seven, eight, nine, fairly high digits. The only places for four in the bottom row are in those two cells. Oh, that five is looking up at fives in a couple of cells there. Look at these. I bet they're going to be the same digit, whatever it is. Still haven't got yellow as eight or nine. Very frustrating. What is that about? Now, if this was a 6, 6 in box 2 would end up being there. What does that do? It means 6 in column 6 is there. Which means... That 6 in column 5 is in one of those two cells. And that this is a 7 here. That's quite interesting. If this was a 6 and that a 7... This couldn't be either of those digits. No, well, maybe that doesn't matter. If that was a, th if this was a three and that was a two, that's potentially slightly powerful, is it? Maybe not. If this was a three, no. If that was a three, this would be a three. I can't quite see it. One of those is definitely a three. Um, we have this one, two, three triple there and a one, two, three triple here. Now, I was coloring twos and threes. Those two were the same. That means these two are the same. And that one's purple. Okay, what does that mean for twos and threes? Do I know what that one is? Not necessarily, but I do know that purple is in one of those cells, so it's in one of these. But green is a two or a three as well. Okay. 
Those greens are the same. Yes, I was speculating earlier that they couldn't both be... Maybe they couldn't both be threes, because these would both be sixes. Then I would have a lot of interesting positions of sixes around the grid. Those two... Just keep going on that. One of those two. No, the six in column six would be placed. Right, I would have exactly these positions for sixes around the grid if green was a three. That does seem to work, but it's annoying. If I was putting a six in the bottom right corner, the four couldn't be in the bottom left corner. Oh, it doesn't quite finish it, does it? It really doesn't. Oh, my goodness. Those three have to be the same as those three. Oh, that's interesting. Right. This group of four shares a digit with the group of four in column four, and it's that one. So if I eliminate that, this group of three is the same as this group of three. We know that yellow's the same. The other two are in order, so they must be the same again. Now, orange is a bogus color. That was, we were using that for high, but now I can use these two as the same color. I'm gonna use red, and these two as the same color. I'm gonna use the darker green. Now that means here we have yellow, red, and darker green. But this is as problematic as the as the I had another pair of digits where I didn't know which was higher. Yeah, no, I had red and green. Do they have to be here? No, obviously these are red and green. So one of them is bright blue, the seven or eight digit. And the other one is here. And of the four high digits, well, I might as well give it a fourth color. Gray is the fourth color. That's sitting there. And then one of these two. I don't know anything about the identity of grey. The trouble is now I've got bright blue, which I know sits in all those digits, but I don't know if it's red or dark green. But I do know it's the same everywhere. If it was red, it would be a seven. What would happen to sevens then? If it was red, it would be a seven. Or maybe what would happen to sixes? No, if bright blue was red, it would be a seven. I don't know, I don't know. That, if that was a three, we'd have three, six, seven here. So then green and red would be an X pair. They couldn't go there. Bright green and red, they could go there. Yeah, it's an interesting way to form an X pair on a thermo. Unexpected. And this purple, does that have to be this two or three? Um, it doesn't have to be. I just can't get these disambiguated. Maybe I need to colour my one, twos and threes even more. I've got blue as a one in these rows, haven't I? So that would be blue and bright green in some order.
Right, that's interesting that these can't be threes. So if this was a six, they're both ones on the whisper. These are both twos. Eights in the yellow digit. Yeah, if this is a six, this is quite powerful, isn't it? We get ones on the green line. Those end up both being twos, obviously touching a seven. And we get eight in the yellow. That seems to work. Six, eight, seven here. This is going to be a nine, three. Wow, you're going to get eight, six, seven down here. This being a seven seems to really come into quite sharp focus. Okay, green, dark green being a seven, which forces the whole thermo to be six, three, two in both cases. Then you end up with three in those cells. That makes that a three and one of these are three, obviously one of these two. This being a three would force this to be an eight. And that would make this a one and this impossible. Okay, that's something. This being a three makes that an eight. That makes this a one. But now the yellow total is nine and three won't work there. So that is not a three. So purple is three. That has taken a long time to spot. Oh, James, you're killing me here. This puzzle's taking ages. That bright blue is a two, which is what I feared and didn't really want. Um, now, these have to be one apart now because those are one apart and we're coming to the same total in yellow. So this is either a 6-7 pair or a 7-8 pair. We're definitely using 7, and grey is not a 7, therefore. Now 7 definitely appears on the end of this thermo, and therefore from the colouring down here, and what does that mean, I ask you? Okay, I got these purple threes. That's a five. Yeah, that's right. That's probably been available for a long old time. And there's a five in one of those cells. Ah, five can't sit on the X, of course. Maybe that's what that X is doing there. So five's over here. Don't think... That X is doing... Well, it's now got... A, oh, yes, it doesn't have one, three, or four on it. It's doing a lot. It's a two, eight pair. Quite unexpectedly. That's not an eight. Two, eight, three, one, five. This is now not a two, eight pair. This digit is four, seven, or nine with one, three, or six there. Two, eight, three, one, five. Come on. If that's a three, I don't know. That I thought it was going to sort these out, but maybe it doesn't. Okay, but we'll still keep on making little bits of progress every now and then. I do find this. Oh, that is a three. That's forcing this to be a six. That makes seven red and green not seven. That's now a one or a two. Okay, come on, do something else. We knew seven was in one of those cells, so that's not interesting information. Um, this is eight or nine. So if that was eight, we'd have nine there, six here. What does that mean? One of these two is a six. That's not informative. 
six there, six there. One of these is a six. Oh, look, I've placed six in box two in the gray. Right, gray being a six means this is a six. And this is now not. These are a seven, eight pair, adding with a one, two pair to give yellow as nine. Wow, finally got yellow. That's been a long, long time coming. These now can't be nines. One of them's a six over here. Nine, uh, yeah, nine in column one can't be there or there. It's down the bottom in the corner with a one. Then we have a two and an eight, and we know that dark green is eight. And this is a three on the thermo, and this is four, six, seven, but we can't put the four or six on the X because of the other digit on the X. And now I'm actually cooking with gas for a moment. We get a nine here in the box. One, two, eight is a triple elsewhere. Nine, seven, eight, three, four, five. These are from one, two, six, and they definitely include a six. Nine one two five. This is a three four seven triple by Sudoku. And look, I finally differentiated those two thermos from each other. I mean, and I live in dread that there was an easy way of seeing that they had to be different early on and just finishing the puzzle quickly as a result. But it is what it is. You do what you can. Um, three six nine. Honestly. That's all you get from each of us every day is the best we can do. And apologies for it not being any better. But this is clever. I mean, this is a clever, clever, tough puzzle. One, eight, and two, eight. These are pairs. That's a two, eight pair. So I've got seven there, eight there. I haven't really checked my whispers off much, but that has made seven, eight, Seven, right, the whispers all seem to work everywhere, whatever I put on them. So no wonder I haven't checked them off much, but eight plus one is nine, seven plus two is nine. That gives me those remaining cells, right. Five, one, I can do two, eight. I must be just finishing off now. Three, four, seven up here. Four, three in the corner, losing its religion all over the place today. Nine, two, five, eight, one, eight, two. I pray this is right. I really do. Talking of religion. Six and an eight there. There we go. Wow. I mean, that is just fascinating. I'm just going to recheck that all my X's work. They do. All my thermos work. They do. Uh, certainly my blue line works and my green line seems to work as well. So this is correct. What an extraordinary puzzle, James. Classic. Um, thank you for watching, as always, on the channel. We will be back with you at least twice tomorrow. Bye for now.